Guten Morgen! <laughs> I'm just going to stick with the English version. Good morning. <laughs> hey, we have no kids again today. Again, yeah. Again, this is like day four this week. We've not had kids. Craziness! It's like our own little mini vacation this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a real vacation, let me tell you. Yeah, I know. So what are we doing today? The most non-exciting thing ever. We're going to Jacksonville and then coming back to Orlando. <laughs> well, we're going because we have to get ready for a little Disney cruise. Do, do, do. Wearing my Disney cruise hat in honor of it. You are ready to go for the Disney cruise, huh? Yep. So tomorrow we hop on the Disney Dream out of Port Canaveral and go on a quick three night Disney cruise, which I like the quick ones, but it also, by the time you unpack, you're basically packing back up to get off the yeah, ship. Yeah, it, it goes by very <laughs> it does fast. Go fast. So it's, yeah. this is the question everybody asks: well, Where are you going? So we we leave out of Port Canaveral, we go to Nassau, also known as the Tijuana of the Bahamas. <laughs> so we stay on the ship, which yes. is awesome because then the ship is like empty. empty so that's yeah. a little tip: if you guys ever go on any cruise at all and you stop in Nassau, just stay on the ship. There's really yeah. nothing worth getting off the ship for. Yeah. yeah. So and then you have the ship to yourself. So we go Port Canaveral, Nassau, Castaway Key, which is Disney's own island. I would give it two thumbs up if I had two thumbs. Oh yeah, <laughs> two big thumbs up. Yeah. We could just go there and stay on the ship. I'd be fine with that. Yeah, I would too, I if, love it. Wait, I'm, don't stay on the ship, get off. Oh yeah, get off. Yeah, I'm yeah. staying, keep the ship at Castaway oh, Key. Oh yeah. Just yeah, leave yeah. Port Canaveral, go to Castaway Key, yeah. stay there for about a week, and then take the ship back. I'm actually giving that Disney too. Disney probably save a bunch of money on that. I mean, <laughs> oh, you don't yeah? have to use gas to go there anywhere. You go. <laughs> so while we're there, at least one of us is going to do the Castaway Key 5K, yeah. which is a Run Disney event now, yes. with a real Run Disney medal. We're hoping the kids can do it, but I know they have age restrictions in the past, yeah. but I think the kids are old enough now. I I'm hoping they, they can do it. Yeah, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Yep. Hunter asked me the other day, when are we going on another race? So she loves running 5Ks. Yep. I'm hoping that we can do it with her. Keep yep. my fingers crossed. So getting ready for the cruise, literally we have to go back to Jacksonville to get a few things, and then we're turning around and coming back to Orlando. So for you guys that are not from Florida, that's like a two and a half hour trip both ways. Yeah. So we're going to be in the car for five hours today. You get to come along with us. Aren't you excited <laughs> about that? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. and, it, and the initial intent wasn't for us to be down in Orlando as long as we have been. Right. But then we had the Discovery Cove opportunity yeah. come up. We yeah. had the Epcot Food and Wine Festival opening. Yep. We had Hollow the Hollow Scream opportunity come up. Yep. Come up. Yeah. So we have to take advantage of these opportunities when we get them, and that just means now we have to make a quick trip back and forth. Yep. One of the big things I'm doing today to prepare for our Disney cruise are some little goodies for the kids. Now we're actually going to be on one of the first Halloween at sea cruises on the Disney Dream. So we're packing our costumes and I want to give the kids some little fun things during the cruise. So because it is a Halloween cruise, I picked up at Walmart these little window clings. They are $1.54 and I fig figured the kids could decorate the stateroom door as well as our window with some of these fun Halloween window cleans. Now, I'm actually going to put those in the fish extender for the first day at sea, so they're going to go ahead and find it like the next day and uh, decorate the room early. Um, for the fish extenders, I also picked up some candy. There's a Halloween Mike and Ike and Sour Patch. Um, all the food and beverages are included during your cruise, but when you go to see the movies or if you go to the Broadway style shows, you actually have to pay for candy or popcorn. So I always pack little treats to put in our fish extender to just give the kids some little snacks during the show. And then some other fish extender stuff. I found these little glow rings and then I found these little mouthpieces. They were like a dollar each at Walmart. So a couple little things to throw in the fish extenders for fun during their cruise. I'm at Walgreens now, looking to see if I can find some more little goodies for 
the fish extenders for Halloween. Usually Walgreens and CVS has lots of cute little stuff. Oh yeah, look at these little thingies. I think these are more for parties, but let's see what else they have. I just need a couple more days of Halloween fish extenders. Ooh, candy. Gonna run real quick to Publix, trying to beat that cloud. Yikes, I need to get some sunblock for the kids. We are back on the road. I am driving one car and Tim actually is driving the other car. Um, he actually has to, early next week, head back up to North Carolina. So we had to bring two cars down to Orlando. So we are packed, got everything taken care of in Jacksonville and we're both on our way to Orlando. On the way home, I actually, we have our um, camera always propped up. On the way home, um, I was filming and an accident literally happened right in front of us, craziness. But the um, fire truck, there was a fire truck right in front of me. So immediately when the accident happened, he pulled off and uh, ran over there to check on everybody. But craziness, sometimes there's some action, so to speak, on the road. So now I'm stuck in traffic for a little bit while uh, they try to figure out how to route us around the accident. Well, I know there was a big accident. Literally the fire truck in front of us went and then two other ambulances went by and then I saw several ambulances coming from the other direction. But literally we were stopped. We were not moving at all. Everyone was in park and just kind of hanging out while they figured out you know, what was going on and trying to um, take care of the accident. I'm assuming the accident pretty much took over the whole entire road um, for us to have stop traffic like that that I can't even route us around but by the time we got up to the accident once the traffic started going and by the time we got up to the accident nothing was there there was just a couple cars on the side of the road and that was it so kind of crazy um, I don't know I guess they just cleaned up everything and that was it <laughs> but it took them about um, an hour it delayed me for about an hour um, so now starting to rain again but now we are off to Orlando again so I should hopefully get to Orlando before, before dark tonight so that's it for today again I'm sorry not an exciting video but you know sometimes you have to have down days and you're doing other stuff and today was one of those down days but thanks for joining us if you like still hanging out with us, give us a, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Just click that red button at the bottom. And you know what? We're out there following our dreams. You guys get out there and follow yours. Keep on dreaming. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.